So this All is right. game one, and we have a wobble already. This is Zoso oh and Q-Puff. Zoso and Q-Puff. It looks like just a very... Oh, no, I can actually make out both of them on that. Uh... All right, okay, so... All right, Dylan gets his first stock pretty quick. Um, and now everything is best of fives now. So this is top 16 winners, I think. Um, Q-Puff beat Rosin, like, 2-1 to get here, and I'm not sure who... Uh, who's also played to get here, but, uh, I don't know. This matchup is pretty one-dimensional, I think. Um, a lot of ice members trying to get in, and a lot of Marth saying I need to keep you out. Yep, it's pretty much it. That being said, I think it's fun to play. I dabbled a little bit with playing Marth against Ice and like on FD. Because you play Sheik, right? Yeah, I can't control Marth well enough. I'd have to, like, put a lot of practice in to, like, moving around better. Gotcha. Um, yeah, it's also just went for like four grams in a row. I mean, like Marth can get some like pretty quick, just like grab one of the climbers, just like throw him forward. Because Marth, I mean, Marth's grabs are pretty quick, right? Yeah. Because I know like you see like Luigi's doing like the cool like forward throw kind of yeah. chain grab shenanigans. Like, does Marth have like something similar? I mean, I guess Marth can throw the ice climber into the other ice climber. And, yeah. And there's the, he has the ability to do that, but like usually grabbing is not what you want. And, Quick SC right there. Yeah, but like uh, every now and then just throwing it in as like a mix up. And if Marth gets grabbed by one climber, he's okay, right? Like, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, Especially like, a little percent, yeah. yeah. And just grab one and throw him, see what happens. Yeah, wow. this is closer than I was expecting it to be. We got in the chat. Hey, Cam, the vacuum cleaner. You can find your own bracket. It's not hard. Yeah. Just, uh, just Mass Madness 22 is the uh, is the name of today's tournament. We got the Doctor Lobster, Octavius. Who's that? I don't know. <sighs> All right. So Dylan lost that last stock pretty quickly. So also trying to clean it up this stock, make it a fresh two stock. And there goes Nana. Yeah, that's and a big hit. This is looking pretty difficult. Um, Down air forward smash. This is best of five, so I'm assuming that we're gonna go to FD. Yes. Which, like, against Marth, I mean, on paper, it doesn't sound that good to me, you know? Okay, whatever. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> yeah, there we go. And the game is over. But yeah, I mean, again, Marth's uh, keep away tools work very well on a horizontal plane, which is what FD is. So, again, Ice Climbers, this is their favorite stage, but it's not easy to do what they want to do on this stage. It's almost like both characters do well on this stage. Yes. Yeah. For the reasons that work well on the other. Oh, that could have been big. Yeah. With, with dash tag. Yeah. Okay, I like Q-Puff going with blizzards. At the beginning of the game there, he's just kind of just dash grabbing. At least going with ice cubes and blizzards at this point. Which is Definitely a better approach. Yeah, it's like on Yoshi's, you don't really have the space to do that. Yes. Marth can just close that gap really quick, you really quickly and just punish you. Oh, that wasn't a good blizzard. Yeah, it seems like Ice Climbers just like, like, really can't get much off of Marth on, on a down throw. Or at least Q Puff is not really getting that. Oh. All right, cool on fair. We haven't really last game and I guess this game so far. We, we haven't really seen Q Puff Sopo really tack on more than like a couple little random straight hits. It's so hard for him to get in. It seems impossible. Um, and like I feel like any kind of down throw option is kind of a read on like the DI. Or even, even if you do, like maybe maybe you you get like a strong hit back there. I don't know. It just the whole situation is just like. Really bad, and, and against a player like Zoso, so I'd be so. I mean, I don't. I'm not sure we'll ever see Q plus Sopo take a take a stock off Mar off Zoso's Marth, or at least this set. Uh, all right, you got a lot of mileage off that down throw or forward throw. That was definitely worth it. To Using that a little bit as bait. Yeah, he used that like 125. Whatever, just take the stock and kill Nana. Take that. 
Ooh. Frames away. Yeah. This is one of those matchups. I mean, that was actually very key that he got that stock because um, this is one of those matchups where a two stock lead is a huge deal. One stock lead, we're okay. But I think a two stock, especially on the ice climber side, is a huge, huge deal and a big mountain to come back from. So at least, you know, he got, you know, down to that one stock lead if he loses it right here, which he yeah. is. Yep. Yeah. It's looking like each game, Dylan, or Q Puff's gonna need, like, one kind of significant wobble. Yeah. He needs, like, 50%. Yeah. It's kind of like playing against Falco. You're like, I need at least one gimp under, like, 50% in order yes. to kind of have a good handle on this game. And the reason why I say that, because other, you know, besides besides the wobble, there's not really a quick kill in this matchup, you know what I'm saying? So it's not easy to come back. No, like, position. like a kind of Ice Climber's Gimp on Marth is, like, extremely rare. Yeah, like a, a, some sort of down smash trade with the, the up beat, maybe, yeah, at yeah, best, but like that, that's not going to happen. Smash. Yeah. Like, nothing sends him down or away. Everything's just, yeah. I mean, maybe down smash. Oh, that's unfortunate. Then I kind of got caught under FD. A little bit. All right, he's got to put on, like, a decent amount of percent here. Okay. Yeah, he carries with the up uh, air. Yeah. The eye is out of it, though. Okay. He's his jump. Now he's kind yeah, of in he's, trouble. He's in a really bad spot. Yeah. Ooh, oh, gosh. He almost did it. Okay. Up till, oh, it. no. Okay. Yeah, he's also going for the quick option. Like, either A, you get hit by this, or B, you're going to miss the stage entirely. I like it. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing he can, he can do there. Yeah. Alright, he's going to need some kind of quick down smash to get him off stage to try and close this out. Okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, see, he doesn't get anything. Scattered. He, yeah. he, he just jumps out. I don't know what, like, the kind of procedure there is, but I haven't seen really much of anything off a off of down throw this game. Ooh, but a the big double air. hit back air. Uh, unfortunate reverse. So close. All right. Okay. Okay, right, see the down air. Oh, uh, yeah, he yeah. went for like the wave dash forward. Up smash, yeah. I felt like that would have worked on like 115, but not 135. He's really looking for a down smash or forward smash. Yeah. There we go. There okay, go. great. Okay, all right. It's a game. Give ourselves a game. All right, practically even. Marcus to grab. I do like these, you know, full hover purges by Zoso. So you know, staying off, staying off the ground, throwing out safe things. They're not gonna get any confused on that. Oh, that could be Nana stock. Okay. Okay, Nana comes Good back. Good save, on. but she's still in trouble. Oh no. That's the really good thing about that, like, down air to tipper kind of setup on yeah. Nana. It almost always works because she doesn't really jump out. If it's not going to work on a real player, it's because they're going to jump out. Yeah. Nana's just going to hang there and yeah. die. All right, going back to FD. No surprises there. Okay. Oh, Ooh, that was interesting little setup. Yeah, that's cool. Wow, but even on these, uh, like, even when Zoso grabs Nana, like, Puff has missed the uh, the punish on Zoso a few times. There's only that one time where he was able to get the stock with that down smash, so you really saw that beam switch kind of work. Yeah. Get back here, got Nana. Yeah, no so chance. Well. Okay. Just any opening that Q Puff is getting, he's just really not getting much off. And every time he goes down to save Nana, which like, you know, seems, I, like, seems like the right idea. I mean, she still dies. You have to do it, but you know it's gonna hurt. Yeah, you have to take the chance, but like a player like Zoso is kind of always gonna be on top of that and still can Nana. All right, but great, great re-grab there. But he's gotta put some serious damage on here. Okay. Yeah, like there's no this is the re -grab. Yeah. yeah, there's no regrab there. He can just jump out every time. So this is pretty much just DIing away and yeah. jumping out as soon as he can. I mean, does dash attack work in that situation? I'm I trying to think of anything. Yeah, I don't know. 
Back throw, okay. Oh, okay. A, change, a little a change. mix up, great. Mix up, that's good. Dig it. Spot dodge, doesn't matter. Oof, man. Okay, the very, very end of the He's got like all the time in the world. Alright, that was a little good side beat by Zosa there to keep him off the ledge. Or else he probably would have been dead. All right, the dash attack works there, I guess. Ooh, that was a very good side beat to, miss, to avoid the up air. Yeah. The dash is a down smash. Okay, great. I think that's like the first like wave dash and down smash. Um, that's like killed that's killed Zoso at like a you know sub like 150 or something like that. Yes. It's so hard though against Marth because like every time you feel like you do have an opening, he's just gonna. Forward, forward error again, or down tilt, like just absolutely stuff. Ice yeah. Climber's uh, grounded movement. Yeah, Q-Puff definitely doing it though. I think in that sequence you saw three uh, weak dash down smashes, including when he came back. New Sockers, when Zosa came back. Uh, uh, unfortunate. He's going for the nice wave dash on. Yeah. Alright. He's got to close out the or die here. Oh, Ooh, very, a nice, very cool. We have damn shot back here. All that right, was very nice. Pretty similar to last game. We have a wobble away. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh, you missed that wave dash in. I know if he had a jump there, I saw him, but you know, possibly getting caught, but he had to jump. Yeah, it's so hard. Like even like going for those. Okay, okay, this might be big actually. Nice. Oof. Yeah, like those up airs on Marth at low percent, like you hit him and do like, I don't know, like 10 or 12 percent. Yeah. And then he just fires back and is just like hitting you or not. That wow. was amazing. That was dirty. Yikes. Yeah. I mean, you saw before in the game where the up air, there was a chain where he was able to kind of carry him across the stage. But if you DI correctly, it's not going to work. All right. Very cool. From from left field, pulling it out. Yeah, seriously. Last stock on, on the on set stock. Or set point, I guess. It was the time to throw out the trick. That was the time to do it. Yeah. So do you think this like matchup really plays out differently on a non-FD stage? Because in my mind, it doesn't really. It, it seems like nothing really changes. Okay. Like, Marth doesn't really. Oh wow. Okay, he's dead. Like Marth is never really gonna camp top platform. Or really be on any of the platforms. The only thing the platforms are doing is like if, if a climber lands on it, Marth's just gonna stand underneath. Um, Okay. Strange lack of punish. Ah, uh, no way. Not coming back. Yeah, no, I, I definitely hear what you're saying. I mean, a character that doesn't have a projectile is not going to be able to change the game up because there's platforms. I mean, like you said, Marth is not going to uh, camp top platform. So what is he going to do up there? Uh, so, yeah. Oh, okay. Very cool. He caught him just hanging out. Um, caught hold, shielding. Holding shield on that platform. He was at like 80 ish something. So that's a pretty decent. Uh, just need to see if he can wobble. Because he grabbed him before and he missed like the down air re grab. Um, and he just went and hung out on the platform and Q Puff just got up there really quickly and grabbed him. Alright, but now Nana's dead. He's got to see what he can do here. I appreciate the attack. Right, brutal. Uh, okay, what's he gonna do here? Ah, doesn't get anything really. And even there, he can't punish the grab on Nana. Mars grabs are so quick. Carries him oh, stage. she's dead. Oh, oh, oh there you go. Oh, oh he went again, for it again. Oh, un back unfortunate. Back he didn't really get anything off that opening. Very smart by Zoe, so not going any further. Yeah, he's just gonna rinse and repeat all day. Yeah. Oh. One or two more of those will do it. Though the wave dash, or not the wave dash, air dodge, air dodge. 
prolonging it just a little while okay. longer. Uh, yeah, jump back. Jeez. It's like you can just keep swinging the sword there. Okay. All right, well, back. he made it back on pretty much. Hey, anything else here is going to be at this point for, for Q-Puff. See if we can get anything out of it. His shield's getting life. really small. It is. Uh, exciting. Okay. Now you need to get off of that platform. Again, Q Puff on his uh, possible winner side stock. Yeah, that's true. I hope I don't run into him now. <laughs> All right, just gotta make something more quick. I guess Marth can't really use these like mid height platforms to shield drop like fair and just get another like hitbox out really quickly. Yeah, and they're they're low enough for down tilt to work too. If you're, you know. Trying to stifle an approach. That was the first time that Zoso really got hit by the Invisible Nana. And now it's going to be uh, very right. hard, yeah. Now Nana is dead. Alright, that looks like Probably it's going Oh, alright, whatever. Ooh, okay. and he dies for it. Alright, it'll take a miracle. Yeah, but, uh. Happen one more time. Yeah, hey, who knows? It's holding down tilt. Yep. Probably one more. There you go. That'll do it. Good showing from Zosa. Alright, I should go back out and see if people are calling my name and stuff. Ooh, are, you. are they like waiting for, for everything to like finish before they then start pro bracket, which is just top 16? Uh, I, I, I don't know. All I know is that we're blasting through this. I mean, like the yeah. second matchup was like Bonk versus Project. Yeah. So, like, yeah, we're, we're just right. blowing through these. Tom is yelling names and stuff, so I'm going to go out there. All right. All right, later. Good luck to you. It's all good. All right. So, we're still rolling through. So, we're already in our winner's quarters. Just saw Zoso taken. It's been a while since I've seen Zoso play. Okay. So, whatever. Oh, welcome back. Uh, who do we have next? I want to know. I did too. Alright, who's that? Claps. <sighs> Hello, Claps. How's it going? Why aren't you here? Where are yeah. you? I haven't seen Claps in a minute. Claps is the Fox Switch, like, but like a, a total thing now. Really? Actually, I had no idea. I didn't know about that. I know he was trying it. I, I haven't been. I don't remember who he played in the tournament like the last time. Mm. He played, but I know it's you know. It's a work in progress. It's a work in progress, at least as I 